Erin Christie. We begin tonight with another case of a rooftop thief. That seems to be the way thieves are going after copper these days in those big AC units on top of the building. That's exactly what happened at a small midtown lunch spot, but just the latest in many we've covered this year. Sheena Lake likes to sing along to the radio while she makes lunch at her Big Al's Healthy Foods. But today her tunes are mixed with a little frustration. Oh, uh, we'll be fine. <laughs> One way or the other. That's because thieves stole the evaporator coil and all the copper from the air conditioner, leaving the kitchen without cold air. They climbed up on the roof. Just last summer, thieves cut the power lines at the weatherhead. And stole maybe $50 worth of copper out of there. It cost us like $1,000 to repair it. Because of that instance, they still haven't financially recovered to install cameras to prevent yet another one. We will be paying for this for years now because we're a small business. We don't bring in a ton of money. I asked for open records on Tulsa copper thefts after thousands in similar damage at North Peoria Church of Christ in April, Praise Center Family Church, and Iglesias Piedra Angular Church in June. And records show at least 20 copper-related reported incidents since January. River Parks was another location record show was recently hit by thieves. They told me their light fixtures continue to be targeted despite replacing a lot of the copper with aluminum. Thank you. Thankfully, at Big Al's, the air conditioner in the dining area still works for customers. However, because it's August, for kitchen staff safety, they're temporarily closing early at 2 p.m. Once the sun hits that window, it is miserable in here. Lake is still waiting to find out whether the unit can be repaired or have to be replaced. When I was in the meantime, with fewer hours, she's focused on keeping employees compensated. And Tulsa police have told me many of these businesses don't have roof cameras, making it difficult to determine a suspect or whether the cases are related.